Hi everyone, this is Siam Kozeman. It's a very hot night uh, in southwestern Turkey and we're going on a little nocturnal safari. I've just been hanging around these lights in a rural village and you know there's many bugs around uh, these lights at night but what fascinated me tonight was that I was able to find these amazing tiger beetles family Sincidelidae or Sicindelidae or something and it flew away they have huge enormous eyes and very mean sets of jaws and with them they can efficiently shear apart their insect prey there's one actually hanging out here you can see it's leg cleaning behavior and they keep doing this flick 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 leg action every now and then maybe to keep clean i don't know this is just a little ah there's one here this is just one goddamn light and what's special about these bugs is not only they're ferocious and really like they're like an every man's picture of a vicious bug when they imagine it in their minds sheer like jaws so they're like this but what's what's really special about them is that in many parts of europe they're actually endangered so um, it's been a special honor in that respect This is gonna be a tricky catch. We got a very unusual couple of friends over here. I was looking for tiger beetles, but now we found something more. So right here, you see, there's a hand-sized, big, green kind of cat he did. And right here is a cicada, cicada, or... So this is a cicada, it's a pretty, I mean, this is low-hanging fruit. These guys, they're all over the place. And now we're gonna let him go. He won't go on his own. Ah, there he goes. So now we can focus more on our great subject you see this is a monster of a cat he did and now is the time of reckoning Ay. catching these animals always gives a special uh, victorious feeling to the whole experience but i never kill or collect them for me even just the fact of having touched them is enough and this is a very fragile creature. You can see it's... It's quite otherworldly. We got another exciting child of the night up there. It just flew in like that album cover from Nirvana and... I got it. Okay, what we have here... is a nocturnal giant sphinx moth and you can see the shivering head is almost like that of a bird this is arguably it feels like a bird too it feels like a warm-blooded insect okay now i'm gonna let it go Okay, everyone, there we have a Turkish gecko resting on that wall. So now I'm going to try to run and capture it. Oh. We got uh, the Turkish gecko. Uh. This is low hanging fruit for Bodrum nights because these animals are actually very common but it 
doesn't make them any less cute or memorable. It's this guy smiling. It, it always seems to smile. And these are very, very common in these parts. I mean, just this wall a moment ago had a couple of them on it. So even though it's the low hanging fruit, no night of critter catching in this part of the world is complete without them. So now we're gonna let this guy go. Here. Skibidi bap bap bap. Where are you? Huh? There he goes.